Hey Tubers, welcome back. So, uh, last night's video, we had the CID video. Um, plenty of backwards and forwards. Some people hate my idea of not using CID reset cells. Some people say it's safe. Some people say it's not. I'm firmly in the boat that is not safe. Uh, certainly in my experience, and let's face it, I have done 15,000 plus cells tested. Never once have I got a, a, a zero volt cell and put it into a charger or tried to revive it or done the CID thing it just goes straight in the recycle bin so I don't have a great deal of experience but because I think from the early days everyone said don't do it don't do it don't do it and that was rammed in my head and that is still firmly my belief today right now more thoughts I was just about press release on this on this video and I just stopped and thought to myself what effect does it have pressing that CID back in again Okay, so that, that little CID is a diaphragm of some description, probably made of some metallic compound, I guess. And if it goes from that shape to that shape, surely that alone would cause stress on the outside of that CID. Or, you know, it's, it, would de it, would de it would deform. It would never be the same shape again. Um, so that, definitely a reason for concern. Also when you use i mean i've 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 seen people on facebook there say that they just stick something in there and press it back down again does that deformation plus that indentation change the characteristics of that cid thus making it less safe or even more less safe you get what i mean back to the normal program uh, Tom was saying, I think Tom Ameren left some, some comments there on, on one of the videos about him having lots and lots of these cells and never had any problems with them. But he also did reiterate that he doesn't sell them, which is brilliant, Tom. Awesome work. Um, you do a lot. Um, I intend to, I've got 500-ish new laptop batteries here, so a couple of thousand cells, I reckon. And I would, I think if I go through those ones and I find any zero volt cells, I'll put them aside put them in a safe place or whatever and we'll do something with them in the future to try and you know learn some more but uh we've also got one or two comments there i deleted a few uh, that were complaining about haters haters are good for the community they're not bad um, so if you've got a comment or you disagree with my opinion whack a comment below because those comments and those backwards and forwards and that difference of opinion makes us all better as a community so um another thing uh, I've only got two out of the five winners have contacted me. Uh, one from the UK and one from up the road, about 200 odd Ks, um, for the spot welder. He will be here today to pick the spot welder up, but the other couple, uh, you haven't reached out to me. I've sent PMs on the forum. I've sent emails to your registered email address that you registered on the forum. Uh, and I've also put it on the actual thread itself on page 41, I believe. So I don't know what I'm going to do if you guys don't contact me. Um, I'm going to give you a good month or more because I'm not going to rig out on the deal. They're yours if you contact me. If they you don't contact me, I don't know. We'll, I'll, I'll sort something out. You guys will tell me a path to follow. I don't want to just go redraw, redraw, redraw. I want to actually do it properly and give you a chance because I understand some people aren't at their computer. Well, as much as me, I guess. Um, so we had another comment on the Ryobi battery video so I'm going to do that now and someone was saying okay so if you put it in a high amp drawer it's going to hurt it nobody would put one of these into a high amp application or a high drain application as I call it um, they're not known for that sort of thing now I did put it in the fan I think I got about five hours um, I did get a time lapse I'll insert it up here somewhere um, of running that last night just to flatten the battery out so the, the battery is completely flat oh, there's one bar there but one of the concerns was when I put it back into the charger again is it going to get hot because of the rate that this can charge it at now I really don't know the rate 1.8 amps so across one cell that's going to be quite high if my maths is correct but 14.4 to 18 volts at 1.8 amps so that is probably going to cause a little bit of heat in these cells given that we only charge a discharge with two amps 
So that might be a valid concern on why not to use these cells. But what I'll do now is I will try and find my mount for my phone so I can hook up the, the Fleur digital camera, the Fleur thermal camera, and we'll, charge, we'll take the back off and we'll charge it up and we'll see if we get any heat out of it. But that'll kind of all be it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Play the time lapse. Cheers. Well, there we are that concludes it for that one um, didn't get above 40 degrees very happy with that and I just noticed I've got plenty of space in there to get the cables out to run an amp test when I'm actually running the power tools so that'll be next cheers guys see you later